Yo guys, welcome to RenderM, my name is Vieco and today we're gonna be talking about plant shading. Now, one of the most frustrating things for me to do is plant shading. Why? Because I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I would always tweak these diffuses, translucencies, reflections, um, opacities, etc. You know, to get the plant to look right. And in the end, it would look good. But if you ask me what did I do exactly, I have no idea. It's, it's just a little bit of everything. And that was so frustrating to me that I wanted to kind of dive deeper and understand how plant shading is done. So I teamed up with a very good friend of mine, Alexander Riedel from Stableworks, and he provided a very, very interesting article on plant shading. It's called How the Optical Properties of Leaves Modify the Absorption and Scattering of Energy and Enhance Leaf Functionality. So I did this very, very long read, but long story short, I'm gonna give you some tips from it. Did you know that plants absorb 90, 90, 90 of light, meaning the diffuse color of plants is very, very dark. Did you know that the average IOR of the plants is 1.4 to 1.42, depending on the type of plant? Did you also know that the IOR of dried leaves, dead leaves is 1.53? Okay. So if the diffuse is very dark and we have those IOR values, why is everything so green? Why is the grass greener in the neighbor's yard? And you know, why are all the trees nice and green? Translucency. Now the translucency is the key factor of coloring your plants. Now let's put that all that info to the test. We have this plant here and we have an HDRI lighting the whole scene. And by the way, when it comes to HDRIs, the guy that I mentioned, Alexander Riedel from Stableworks, they have this sick ass project called Vermeer and what they're doing there, they're literally scanning the skies. This is their HDRI and if you go to exposure and you lower the exposure, I, I've never seen the exposure going so down to the point of literally turning off the sun. I'm gonna be posting a link in the description, but go to stableworks.tech and there you can just go to try it out and you can fill this info and they are gonna send you a couple of HDRIs for you to try the whole Vermeer project is this much much bigger thing but we're gonna get to that in another video let's focus on our plants this is the basic material that we have it all the leaf materials look very very similar you have this you know like leaf texture and you have your opacity probably normal map etc now let's put all that info that I said earlier to the test so we're gonna put a color correction node and plug it here because it said that the color of the leaves is very, very dark. Okay, next we have our reflection IOR. So if we turn on our reflection and if we put our IOR to be 1.41, let's say, these colors start to look much more natural than they were in the beginning. Let's just add a little bit of glossy to the whole thing, kill the saturation, increase it a little bit and just plug it into our glossy channel and I can plug it into uh, the reflection channel also. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just light it up. So I'm just looking at these highlights here, just increasing it just so that we can get a nice shade of highlights. Now, when we zoom in, we can see our normal map also nicely kicking in and we can you know, nicely see those reflections. Now the translucency part. So if the translucency is the main thing that we see, let's see what we can pull out from our translucency. I'm gonna plug in a second color correction node and I'm gonna plug my leaf diffuse texture in and I'm gonna drag it into our translucence. Okay, the whole thing starts to look much more greener. Actually, I think this bad boy can actually pull out a little bit darker leaves even, so let's kind of do it like this. This is the color of the leaf that I'm using. Okay, let's rotate the whole plant to the sun direction. Okay, I mean, in general, yeah, it's it's like that. Although the, the translucency of the leaves is a little bit lower, so let's kind of just try to keep it in some normal, normal values. Okay, so we got this. Now, the next thing that we need to address, since the translucency is our key factor of leaves looking the way they do, we need to address a few things. So if you take a closer look here, you can see all the veins of the leaves. And all the veins are generally white. So if we take a look here and all the leaves are floating because that's realistic in nature. So we have all the leaves with white veins. Let's kind of take a look at some reference images. 
you can see that all the veins are actually pretty dark and the only thing that's you know kind of letting the light through is the actual leaf itself but the, its core structure of veins is actually dark so let's try to mimic that now there are two ways you can do this first way you can go to photoshop and just edit the map and the second way you can kind of cheat it in 3d uh, it generally works for you know like a default plants where you have all the leaves that look generally the same so this is what i usually do i go to my color correction for my translucency i'm gonna kill the saturation i'm gonna invert the colors here now i need to lower my opacity to something natural let's say something like this now you see what happened we literally got our translucency map but because we have our saturation to zero our filter if we want to you know kind of tint the whole thing color it our filter is not working so in that case i'm just gonna plug in another color map here and i'm just gonna tint the colors so let's say something like something like this look at our leaves all of them look pretty, pretty, pretty sexy. This is the general look that we have right now. But the only thing that's kind of bugging me in this whole, you know, thing is that now all the leaves have the same amount of filter color and they all look identical. We can just put some more randomization to that. So if I go to my random color, okay, we got this. I need to set my ID source to be element ID. Now every leaf is gonna receive a different tone for our translucency. Now this is obviously two contrasts and yeah I am gonna include a little bit of this brownish colors into it and let's put our mix value to something much bigger so let's say five and now you can see we have the variation in the colors you can see this leaf looking much more brownish and this one is much more lighter etc and this is the effect that we were looking for let's see how our plant looks and it's generally this and I think it looks pretty pretty nice from this point if you want to kind of make the plant to be much more greener you can freely increase the offset to just green it out but the thing is our main thing and that is the translucency is fixed and solved in this case now the next thing that i would definitely recommend you doing every time always try to find that plant online and try to look at its images to kind of understand how much translucent it is how dark or how bright the leaves are and try to match it from there the plant that I'm trying to shade here actually has a pretty dark leaves so the visual representation that we see here it's more or less you know close to to the actual reality so now we have this plant in this lovely lovely environment you know on, uh, like in the outside so now let's see how this plant functions in an actual interior because we've set it up to be you know really nice in this exterior scenario blah blah but let's see how it performs in an actual interior so i'm just gonna copy it let me just press ctrl c it's saving our scene so let's move to our interior. We have a pretty nice, well-lit interior. It's also lit with the Vermeer HDRIs. And let me just paste the plant that we did. Okay, let me just lift it up. It's a little bit sunken down. So we let's say we put it something like this and uh, just place it, let's say here. And we're gonna clone it, rotate it a little bit just to have some divergence. So if I go here and unpause my render, it's going to try and load them in. And this is the effect that we got. Now, these are looking looking really, really, really nice. Let's kind of zoom in into one of these plants. Let me just region them a little bit. So yeah, you can really nicely see the translucency. You can see the high reflectioning happening. And in the darks, they look pretty dark, which is completely realistic. And let's kind of move to, to this plant just to see how this one performs. Looking really, really nice. And yeah, generally that's it. So the main thing that colors our plants is translucency. And of course, translucency and type, you know, it varies from different leaf to leaf. But at least this, you know, kind of tutorial is going to guide you in some concrete direction on how to shade your plants. I hope you're going to have much success and much luck with it. See you in the next video. Bye.